Come celebrate the dreamers, the tinkerers, the triers, the kind of sort of problem solvers. You can grant them patents, register their concepts, but you've got to admire them for giving it their best shot. Because the ones who believe they can change the world are usually the ones who make it much more fun. What the what? is a playful, hilarious tribute to the inventor, hustler, and problem solver in all of us. Now, gather with your people to play, ponder, and pitch. What the what is that? And we are live. Welcome, friends, to Tabletop tonight. Good to see you all again. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and I've got... My family here, we're finally streaming together for the first time in a while. Uh, I've got my co-host, Michelle. Hello. And Lauren. Hi. Folks, Lauren's back. Welcome <laughs> back, Lauren. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's been a long time. We were talking before we came on air, like, when the last time you streamed with us. It's, I can't, it's at least a month, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. easily. How, how are things been, how are things been going with you <laughs> so the last month? I was telling mom that I've aged 30 years. Oh, my God. <laughs> Grad school, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Fat Lauren's got stuff to do after the stream, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <And> stuff. <laughs> uh Board Games Fan, thank you, Board Games Fan, uh, says the Dream Team is back. Much appreciated, Pia and Andrew. We just got a new follower, Octavian BGG. Thank you, Octavian BGG, for the follow. We do analog alerts here on the channel. This is Felicia the Follow Fish. She shows up whenever we have a new follower, swims around, says hello to new followers, and then she takes off. And all of us, including y'all in chat, we say, Bye, yeah, Felicia. Felicia. Thanks for the follow, Octavian. Much appreciated. Uh, Panda Angel's in the house. Thank you for confirming the audio and video are good, Amanda. She is also our chat moderator. Uh, so please keep things nice and neat in chat. Uh, we've got a fun game tonight. Uh, compliments of our sponsor, What, uh, what the What Game. Uh, it, they, the company is uh, Well, Why Not Play Media. Well, no. Well, Why Not Media. I, I'm... I, <laughs> tried to practice beforehand and it just didn't work. Well, why not media? Want to thank uh, Stacy Katz and her team over there for sponsoring tonight's stream. This is a fun party game. It's the party game reinvented. Uh, we'll get to that to in just a second. Uh, but thank you for all the bye Felicia's. Daryl Gaiman's in the house. Daryl Begaman. <laughs> uh, Daryl was. Uh, if you didn't see it earlier this week, uh, Daryl joined me here in the studio. First time I've played with uh, a game with anyone outside of Michelle and Lauren in over a year and a half. So it was a, a very, very nice uh, way to um, welcome back um, our my gaming partner. So thank you, Daryl. Uh, just say hi to everyone in chat. Uh, I almost said hi to Nightbot. Nightbot, you're always here. <laughs> <laughs> I got to uh, ban someone already. It was some, uh, some spam uh, person here. Not board game spam, but... Uh, like no good spam, they uh, <laughs> they got banned. Uh, or, yeah, Ruel didn't want to get rich. Yeah, apparently I, it was like, I, do I want to get famous? And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to like, get famous. I don't want to get famous. Well, okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so what the what is a, a fun party game? Uh, it's got that similar me mechanism to like apples to app or apples to apples or Cards Against Humanity, where there's a player that judges and. This one's unique. It's got some really cool cards, and we'll get more into it in just a bit. But as always, we start off our streams talking about stream snacks. Lauren, do you have any stream snacks? I just ate Spam Masubi. Ooh, oh, more sp uh, shout out to Board Game Spam. Yeah. We, Lauren just had Spam Masubi. <laughs> I should uh, make an account called Board Game Masubi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That should be your uh, mod or your um, username yeah, here on yeah. Twitch. Board Game Masubi. Um, Michelle and I had some really good chicken uh, meatballs that you made in the... In the air fryer. Yeah. Oh, yeah I love that thing. Yeah, that was, they were really tasty. Um, I had mine with salad, and you went... Uh, I went with rice. rice. I was just yeah. feeling rice today. Yeah. Um, Pan Angel says, I'm still nibbling on the mini bun cakes. Oh, oh. nice. Yeah. Well, we don't have any more. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're done with ours, Amanda. Yay. We got to... Oh, <laughs> Lauren didn't get any. Oops, sorry, Lauren. <laughs> Sorry. They were really good. <laughs> cool, thanks. We'll just have to go back to the farmer's market and yeah. buy some more. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 
That was so good. Um, we got to meet up with Amanda and our friends uh, to live in Dyson, L.A., and their new baby. Um, oh, so again, the baby was, like, born during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So we got to meet up with them, um, yeah, a small park uh, between that was, like, close to all of us, and we just hung out. We, we brought games, but we ended up just hanging out, eating, and hanging out. Cool. And talking, because so, we haven't seen each other in over a year. Over a year, yeah. <laughs> And we have seen Amanda a few times um, over this last year, but never like we never like sat down and had a meal yeah. and hung out. And Amanda actually got to hang out with Ben and Steph last night, so that was really cool. It's just slowly but surely opening up the that bubble and you know hanging out with people that we trust who have been vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to do any of that, Lauren? Or um, to some degree, but I'm also just like with the whole like crowds thing yeah. and the whole like. Yeah, wear a mask if you're unvaccinated. I'm like, I don't trust you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. The whole like trust issue is a big thing. Like, I don't trust people in gen in the general public. Oh yeah. You know, but uh, for us it was nice because we were in the middle of a park, like had our um, little picnic table, and everyone sort of stayed away. Oh. Okay. Except for like, one little kid that kept coming. <laughs> Right, little kid wanted yeah. to hang out with Amanda. Like Amanda made like a little friend. We're like, you don't have a mask, kid. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, I definitely uh, don't trust strangers. Stranger danger. That yeah. is right. Yeah. Yeah. Bernie Spam's currently eating cherry mango candy. Oh, nice. Oh, chewy, chewy mango, mango candy. candy. I like that stuff. Yeah. Oh, the, the Sabu brand, right? Is that the one? Uh, yes. Those okay. those mangoes are very good. But I'm looking at. Panda saying the small child tried to steal your bag. Oh yeah, that's oh. right. Amanda had this really cool looking bag. It was like it looked like a lemon. A lemon, like a big lemon slice. Oh. And this kid just came up and started pointing. Like, what are you doing? Can I boundaries. Have that? Yeah. Boundaries. It's like, oh man, stranger danger and straight little thief. Yeah. <laughs> Daryl says, I heard babies born during the pandemic are the strongest. <laughs> you know, I'm sure they're strong in it. so many ways. Yeah. yeah. Now their baby is strong. You know, like, that baby's been lifting weights, you know? It's like, wow, Yeah, man. literally. Yeah, right? right? That little <laughs> weight that they're, they're, they're... The really funny story, I, I'm not going to tell uh, on air, but uh, Daryl's baby's pretty buff, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, so we, uh, we went and met up with Amanda and um, uh, Geraldine and Mike and the baby, and Michelle and I, we brought uh, those little bun cakes that we like from the farmer's market. So good. And so good. So good. Um, what else? Just nibbling on the bunt cakes. And, oh, I was going to talk about the chewy mango candy. Gordon and Spen, have you had the the chewy mango candy that's mixed with tamarind? That, those, oh, I remember I those? Those are the yeah. ones I really like. Because mm -hmm. I think the oh, chewy yeah. mango, the ones that like little slices. Yeah. But the like the mango tamarind, it's like in a little ball shape. Um, those are indi individually wrapped and, oh. Those are to die for. I remember uh, we got those in the Philippines last time we were there, and I was craving them so bad. And I luckily we found them at Seafood City out here. So. Yeah, I had no idea they had them here. I didn't either. I was just oh, so good. Yeah. Have Did you had those the tamarind ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When they were in your like ugly delicious box or whatever. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not ugly. It was global delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, like don't censor us for. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sorry, <laughs> that's an copyright accident. infringement. Um, Michelle and I are going to be doing a Universal Yums unboxing soon. <laughs> yeah, Universal Yums. Um, that's <laughs> the, the real name. <laughs> yeah, the real. <laughs> we just got in a box uh, the other day. Days ago, yeah, yeah, so maybe we can do it Saturday night. Uh, sure. Yeah, if we're free, and uh, we'll find the time and let y'all know. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to that. I I don't know what country it's from this this month. Do you see? I think it's Turkey. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not sure, though, because I just saw it on their Instagram. Yeah. And I'm assuming that's the box that we also got. Nice. Awesome. Have you, I'm, uh... I'm free on Saturday. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> I, you're just checking your schedule. Yes, nice. yes. Yeah. I had to check with my people. <laughs> uh, how's your schedule been lately, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> not good. <laughs> not, non stop. Huh? Yeah, 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 no, I was super tired. How's, um, um, I mean, how are things looking? You know, the outlook, I mean, for graduation and everything else. <laughs> Laura just laughing. <laughs> Can't even think that far ahead. No comment. <laughs> Basically. Well, I mean, um, I know I'm not graduating on time, which is fine. I'm taking the summer to finish writing and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a couple more weeks left in the quarter. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to stay alive. Yeah. 
Aren't you? You're still alive right now. That's a good thing. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Good. It takes more effort than it normally does. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't, um, well, I'm sure you've been following the Dodgers. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm assuming you just have the, do- the game on while you're doing your work and stuff. And When Albert Pujols got hit by a pitch two days ago, uh, I was scared he was, like, going to die. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did. I missed that. I just. I saw when he debuted with the Dodgers and hit the uh, hit a, the RBI. Yeah, and that yeah, was really yeah. cool. But yeah, that was the day prior. Yeah. And then the next day he got hit. Yeah, I, I'm just. I'm so surprised he's still playing. I mean. It, oh yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. But, uh, folks, if you don't know, the Dodgers are the defending world champions. Uh, they won last year. They've been pretty shaky this year. Not and. Yeah. Sp- speaking of shaky, the Los Angeles Lakers, who won the title last year. Um, they barely won last night. So after I streamed here, um, I caught the last part of the game. I mean, you know, LeBron, just give him the ball. Um, he hit the game-winning shot. Pretty awesome. So now they're the number seven seed. The, the playoffs truly begin. Um, Amanda, thank you for the uh, update on the 2020 champions uh, thing. You know who wears number 50? Mookie Betts. <laughs> <laughs> Mookie. We love Mookie Betts in this household. Mookie is, is, is the best. The Betts best. Um, before we get started here, I just want to shout out everyone for um, joining us this week, joining me this week as I uh, got back into streaming. We had, I took some time off, and this week's been great. I started on Monday with Aaron from Game Enthuse, so we played digitally. Uh, we got to know Aaron a little better, talk about content creation, and you know he's pretty new to the game. I thought for some reason I just thought he'd been around or doing content for so long, but he's relatively new. He basically got into board games during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I and, missed that part. Yeah, and he, I mean, he'd been doing a video game podcast for uh, many, many years. Mm. And then this, you know, with his, as his uh, children grew a little older, they got into board games during the pandemic. And he just full, went full on into it. He does YouTube videos, does podcasts, live streams. I mean, he's pretty inspiring to see wow. what he's doing. Yeah. So we got to meet with Aaron that night, uh, played Mystic Veil vale on Steam, gave away some codes, really fun. And then Tuesday, Daryl B. Gaming, Daryl Begaman, um, he was in here in the studio and we played um, Vengeance Roll and Fight, which is on Kickstarter now. You can check that out. We had a good time just hanging out as friends, but also streaming. Last night, I played uh, a solo game, Paperback Adventures, and I I mean, I absolutely love that game. It's Paperback, I don't know if you saw it, Lauren, but you know that game Paperback, the one where um, it's a deck builder with Scrabble, basically? Mm-hmm. This one, you're playing the same game, but you're fighting monsters by spelling words and stuff. Ooh. It's really cool. Like, I'm, I'm all over it. I was very, very impressed. And then tonight, we get to play What the What, a party game with a family. I think, I, for me personally, it's been a great week. Started by myself, did a solo stream, did a digital stream with Aaron, um, hung out with Daryl in person here, and now I've got my family. So this is always... A special time for me when you two are in studio. So thank you. And thank you all for joining us. Um, let's play some What the What. You all... What? I said send in your bill later. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were trying to tell me like my zipper was undone. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, doesn't matter. <laughs> no, that's, that's usually my problem. And speaking of, I'm going to show you all the note that I have here. <laughs> Unmute mic, check fly, music <laughs> level. I always need to check these three things. The mic, the music level, and my fly. Because I, I actually did a stream one day, and I stood up to fix something, and people just started laughing in chat. And they said, oh, your fly is down. <laughs> so now I have the uh, post to remind me. Yes, the big three, Octavian. <laughs> Most important things. And actually... If I could just do one thing, it would be the fly and the mic. Those are the uh, the, the big ones right there. Music level, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that was yeah pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Therefore, we had the uh, post-it there. <laughs> Yay, post-it! Yeah. Um, I, obviously, every time I use a post-it, I'm like, whoever invented these things is a genius. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone over there at 3M, right? They're the ones that own, own the patent or whatever. <laughs> um, stream Snacks... Keep, keep the talking, uh, keep the uh, chat going as far as stream snacks. We're going to look at what the what. Uh, I'm going to show what's on the table here. Hey, look at that. Uh, this is a party game, friends, and this is the main thing we're worried about right here. We're looking at this. Um, we have, if you're familiar with Apples to Apples and uh, Cards Against Humanity, it's a very similar mechanism, but what this does is we are inventors. Looking at these inventions here, there's a whole big old stack of these things. I think they're like 60 to 80. Um, it has been fully funded on Kickstarter, so uh, check out the page there. Um, I will throw that on there one more time. 
Um, it's been fully funded like twice over. So they were asking for like eight grand. They're at like 20 something. So congrats to uh, the team over there at Wild, Well, Why Not Media. Um, and what we're doing is these inventions here, Lauren, Michelle, and I are going to uh, describe them and, and pitch them. So there's an investor who wants to invest in your product. You have to pitch to them. So think of it like that uh, show Shark Tank. You ever seen that show? Mm -hmm. um, it's basically Shark Tank, and these are the inventions. What's really neat about these, these are actual inventions. Uh, these inventions um, were, were from the last 450 years, and it's been, these are research from historians, historians and archivists from the Smithsonian and White House uh, Historical Association. And then the cards, the prompt cards, were written by uh, comedy writers in Chicago. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, James, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of the cards. There Again, you'll see something like this. When you tell your hairstylist to just do whatever, and she did. <laughs> for people who have no sense of direction. For people who need a better disguise. So there are hundreds of these cards here. I've just broken them out in four stacks. What you're going to do on your turn is... One of us, so I'll start as the investor. So I'm going to listen to Michelle and Lauren. They're going to pitch their invention, which is this thing here, this gentleman here. Let me get a closer look for y'all. There, okay. So whatever you think that is, I mean, I have no idea what that is. But Michelle and Lauren are going to have 10 cards each. Um, I'll go ahead and take 10 each. Out of their 10 cards, they're going to either play one as their pitch, or they're going to write something... Or they're going to write something, their own pitch, um, to, to talk about the invention. Or they can do a combination of both. They can look at a card and sort of like, you know, use that as a guiding point uh, for the pitch. So a lot of flexibility in the rules here. Uh, really cool. Um, and then whoever, uh, I'm going to, as the investor, I'm going to listen to their pitches. And I will choose one to uh, take this card, and that's going to score points. Now, afterwards, we're going to flip this card over and we're gonna talk about the actual invention. Again, these are real. So if you get um, the card, I'm gonna look at the points, uh, point system here. Uh, if you do it, your original pitch without a card, you get three points. If you use one of the cards as a pitch, you get two points. And then you get an additional one point if you get as close as possible to the actual invention. It's like a ah, bonus point. Okay. So you could potentially get four points. Y yes, okay. yeah. Uh, so. You're just going to look at that. You can look at your cards now and look at that. Now, folks, over in chat, y'all can play with us today because what we're going to do is each one of these, we want to hear your your pitches for this. So what is this? Okay. Now, I'll put it right here. So, yeah, I have no idea what this. So be creative, be funny, be serious, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm looking at this thing like... I'm going to come up with my own pitch, even though I'm the investor. I'll, I'll talk about mine afterwards. Uh, so there it is. All right. And when you're ready, just let me know. if you Would you like some paper to write yes. stuff down? That would be yes. great if you want to take notes. Uh, oh, yeah, James is here. Hi, James. We see all the emos. Thank you, James. Much appreciated. Yeah, it, we're excited. Uh, the whole family is back. The fam bam is back together tonight. Uh, Lauren's got had a break in her busy schedule to join us. Thankfully. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I was having a breakdown. A break <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <It's not> inaccurate. <laughs> uh, yes, Amanda. The game does actually tell you what's on the back side of the card. Yeah, and we'll, we'll uh, I'm gonna make a note about that real quick. So, whoops, I'll leave that there. Now on this card, we don't want to spoil too many things here, right? We're not gonna show um, what. After we pick a winner, we're going to flip the card over. We're not going to show what's on the back. And I'm going to mute the sound. We're gonna, uh, Michelle, Laura, and I are going to talk about it, what the actual invention is. But we're not going to spoil it. However, the publishers have given us permission to share three cards with you. So the three cards we're going to put on screen. We're going to play the game as normal. And then we will actually show what the invention was uh, for those three cards. So thanks for bringing that up, Amanda. So here is this. Um, Lauren, you are ready? Mm -hmm. Uh, Michelle is taking notes, so take your time. We're good. I'm looking at what I would say. I think I know what I would say. Without using any of the prompts? Um, actually, maybe I should look at the prompts. These are pretty good. Oh. This is actually a really good one.
Uh oh. Can I get a close up of the card? Can yeah. I see it? Yeah. I just can't show the back, right? Yep. Yeah, that is in the rules too. Uh, you can totally look at the uh, the card. Um, you just cannot look at the back. Um, hey, Ro, it's Stacy. I think it would be more fun to just show what this adventure does uh, to get the full gameplay. So just go for it and do the. Oh, okay, cool, awesome. Thank you, thank you, Stacy. That's Stacy from um, uh, Well, Why Not Media. Uh, she is also the designer of the game. Oh, cool. All right. So yeah, we will share it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, and if anyone has questions about uh, the game, feel free to ask in chat. We'll be happy to answer them. We also have the designer, Stacy Katz, in the house. So, well, not in our house, literally, but in the uh, chat house. So, here is this one. So, we will show what this is. Uh, if anyone, if you want to chat, join, join in with us. Um, I'll throw in a couple of cards here, just for ex example. I was in your house, lol. <laughs> okay, Michelle's making notes, and uh, Lauren, you're gonna go with the card, huh? Yes. Okay, so Lauren, if she, if I decide she is the winner, she would get two points for the card, and then Michelle, if I pick her, she would get three points, and then we're gonna look at the invention. If you get close, or if you nail it, you will get one point extra. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Let's hear those pitches again. This is just like Shark Tank, folks. Um, I'm going to ask. Um, Michelle, would you like to pitch first? Sure. I'll just pretend I'm a uh, Mark Cuban um, over <laughs> at. Okay, uh... so Mr. Cuban, <laughs> um, everybody needs this device. Everybody does. Oh. You know, if you want to get rich. I do want to get you rich. You want it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I've got the machine for you. Okay, tell me about this machine. Okay, so this machine, this is something that you will need to launder your money before meeting <laughs> with your shady connection. <laughs> you the... want it to look. You know, just perfect, right? That that does look like a money laundering machine, uh, Michelle. Very good pitch. I, I like it. It looks like he's taking some money and cleaning it up for exactly. Yeah, exactly. nice. Exactly. See, that was inspired by Good Girls. <laughs> <laughs> you started watching Good Girls. Oh, I'm done watching Good Girls. <laughs> oh my God. I nice. could not stop watching Good Girls. It's so good. Oh my gosh! Nice, Michelle. Well done. Well done. Uh, we got some props in the chat for you as well. Uh, Lauren, can we hear your pitch, please? Yeah. Um, so you can use your prompt card uh, if you want to show it, or you can like also riff on it. You can use that as a base for your pitch, or you can just give the card. Okay. Your choice. Okay, okay. Um, so this device is the thing you need when you're convinced your neighbor is up to no good. Oh, okay. So you're in the 1920s. There's not a lot, uh, you got a lot of land, there's not a lot of people around you, and you think your neighbor's up to something weird. Like, are they going to try to hurt you? Are they going to try to do some things? Okay. I don't know. So you need a threatening device that can cut <laughs> things so you can make loud noises to scare them, and also to make something to defend yourself nice. should they approach you. Okay, so almost like a nineteen twenties home security device. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's like it's like an old school saw. Like I, w I wouldn't approach someone that had a saw. I think they're threatening, and the saw could be used as uh, 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 used in self defense, and it can be made to create something else that's nice. more affordable for your self defense. Uh, so you've got okay, so you got a couple of things going on here. Nice, Good very task. Yeah, total multitask. <laughs> well done. So uh, any cards that you use, go ahead and just. Discard them, and you'll draw back up to 10. You'll always have 10 in your hand. Um, I was going to go with... You know what? That, those are really good. I What I was going to do was I was going to... For my pitch, um, even though I'm the investor, I'm, I already have my winner, but I'm just going to give you my pitch for this. Uh, I was going to say this is the Meeple Matic 2000. <laughs> and the Meeple Matic 2000, what this is, uh, this is used to create meeples for board games. As you can see, our friend here in the very nice fedora or hat is taking a piece of lumber and sliding it through the machine and it punches out meeples. 
and then uh, there's another machine um, you can uh, add on for another two thousand dollars. The uh, <laughs> Meeple Matic two thousand and one, which is the wow. painting device. Ah, so if you ah. want Meeples that are colored, that's what you would add. So ah, there it is. Excellent. <laughs> Amanda excellent. Panda says pandering to your uh, audience, of course. <laughs> um, I want to uh, welcome our raiders. We, we have a raid coming in. Uh, the whole card is raiding in. Thank you, Whole Card, for rating us. Appreciate y'all bringing your audience here and joining us tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. I'm here with my family, my wife, Michelle. Hello. And our daughter, Lauren. Hi. Uh, this is Tabletop Tonight. We play uh, tabletop and board games here every Tuesday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. We've got a good uh, family-friendly, uh, fun party game tonight called What the What. Uh, it's over there. You can see the box over there. Um, it's on Kickstarter now, and you can back it there. We've got the designer. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Uh, we've got the designer in the house right now, uh, Stacy Katz. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We'll be happy to answer them. And also, uh, you can play along with us. If you have a way to pitch uh, an invention, just type it in chat. We'll read them out as well. So thank you, Panic James, uh, for hanging out with us tonight. Whole card, thank you. And um, we're going to get back to the uh, game here. So can we use, like, um, uh, some somebody's idea from the chat? Um, you know, we're going to let, we're going to score the chat. We, ah, okay, chat, if okay. you have, um, if you have a, uh, an idea for this. So what we're doing is we're looking at these invention cards, which are actual inventions from the last 450 years. And uh, what we're doing is pitching it, sort of like Shark Tank. And um, we can play off our cards, or we can just mix one up ourselves, or we can use a combination of both. Um, but we'd be happy for you to join uh, with us. And uh, it looks like Scat's trial. Uh, love a party raid. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that. Stacey. Oh, is that Stacy? Okay, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> um, let's reveal. So first, I'm going to pick. So I was the investor. I'm going to. These were both really good pitches. <laughs> um, I like the home security device, but money laundering, Michelle. I think. It, I, I think you got it's cleaning it. Cleaning your money. You, you are cleaning the money. <laughs> you pitched it right. If I was Mark Cuban on Shark Tank, I'm a multi billionaire. I would need this just in case I was doing some shady stuff. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Which I don't think Mark Cuban is, but um, he is the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, uh, who are one of the rivals of the Los Angeles Lakers. So, um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, Michelle, you will uh, get two points. Or is oh, it actually gets three. Three points for an original my pitch. very own. Nice. All by myself. All by yourself. Now let's check out, let's see what the actual invention was. Yeah, what so. is this? This is Ooh! the money chewer. Okay, money, money. Wow, U.S. Treasury Department 1916. In the early days of paper money, the U.S. Treasury discovered they would need to destroy worn out <gasps> bills and replace them with new ones. This machine was invented to chew up as much as a billion and a half dollars per year. Oh, so I, I, I was like in the ball. Gets Michelle gets an extra <gasps> point. That is really close. Nice. Well done, babe. Wow. Okay. So you, you did the money laundry. It's actually a money chewer. Very cool. And again, folks, these are actual inventions for the last 150 years. They've been researched and everything. Um... Wow, that was great, babe. I know. I know that, I'm, I'm still, super impressed. I, I am impressed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do... Okay, folks in the chat, we're going to have you join us now. I'm going to put one up here that we're all going to play. There it is, right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And what I want y'all to do, uh, you can throw your pitches in as well, um, but Michelle, Lauren, and I are each going to pitch. Y'all are going to choose which invention is... The one for you. So, give us a second here. <laughs> <laughs> this picture is... I, I can't wait to see what this is. This is hilarious. <laughs> so, it looks like... Oh, is that like an oxygen tank? I, I love the old school phone. Yeah, I don't even know what that other thing is. We got a phone. And this is a real thing, huh? This is an actual thing that somebody made. I feel like uh, someone made it and then like got sued for like killing someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, don't forget, you should have ten cards in your hand that you can um, choose from. Okay, I got mine. Okay, I've got mine. You do sure. one, two, three. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lauren, why don't you start this time? Okay. okay. And we're we're pitching to the folks at home. We are pitching to the folks at home. 
Okay. Listen up. <laughs> so, um, what is it? It's the nineteen tens. Nineteen tens. Okay. You're single, <laughs> and you want to try to find someone to fall in love with. Oh. So, you purchase this machine. You're mysterious. They can't see your face. You're smart. There's science involved. You're techie. There's a telephone, and the telephone's new. You're artistic. <laughs> You're writing. This is exactly the machine you need to attract all the hotties. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is what you need to attract all the hotties. You're smart. You're scientific. You're creative. You're cutting edge. Oh, my goodness. That's is great. Is this your profile <laughs> picture on yes. your Tinder? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God. This is what everyone who does their makeup and hair needs to make their morning routine faster and easier. <laughs> This machine will do your makeup and hair while you read your Twitter feed or answer. <laughs> Amanda, you get Amanda's getting points. I don't care. Oh, this is the perfect workstation for your underwater personal assistant. Because <laughs> Dad, who doesn't have one? <laughs> Octavian, I love it. That's perfect. Oh man. Okay, great. Um, Michelle, would you like to go next? <laughs> I don't know if I can top off. I don't. We've got great ones in chat. We, Lawrence was really good, too. Okay, so as you can see, our model here is not getting any phone calls. Okay. Okay, so she's a little bit um, upset about this. You know, and, you know, she couldn't breathe, so, mm -hmm. you know, she needed a little bit of extra oxygen. Okay. You know, people were very afraid of her because, you know, she was just really not a happy person. Okay. And, you know, she would... Just go out in the town and do mean things and throw mm -hmm. things. So, you know, a lot of people thought that she was possessed. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the true story. <laughs> true okay, story. now I'm getting a little scared. <laughs> is this an so. exorcism machine? I know. <laughs> well, this is what you would need to exercise the demon that oh. lives inside you. Oh. <laughs> See, the oxygen is there to pump it all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, M Michelle totally went dark. Look at that. I was like, wow. <laughs> went from oxygen to demons. <laughs> you know, hand in hand. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> James says he loves his picture. <laughs> I do too. This was too funny. Okay. Uh, my turn to uh, pitch. Uh, thank you all uh, for um, joining us here tonight on Tabletop Tonight, the Shark Tank edition. Um, I've got a device here. This um, young person back in the, I'm going to say 1890s or so. Oh, no, wait. When was the phone invented? Well, after the phone was invented. That's a different game. <laughs> yeah, that's a totally different game. Um, there, if you can tell... I don't know if you can see what they're writing. They're actually writing a note to their doctor. They're saying, Dear doctor, I'm dying. I don't feel well. Please help. This That's why they're uh, connected to the oxygen. It's actually <coughs> not oxygen. It's uh, these magic... Um, uh, not magic air, I guess they would call it. It's very healing. And, um, you know, she's got her phone, but she... Uh, they... I don't know if it's a he, she, or they... Uh, I don't know. This person cannot make it to their phone. That's why they're writing the letter. Uh, they're feeling very ill. They're not feeling well. Um, so they've connected the to the the magic air machine. Um, this is such a bad pitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they've written to their doctor. Their doctor is going to come over, adjust the magic air machine, and they're going to be magically healed because uh, this is a device that can heal all the people. Ah. Yeah, so ah. this is just the first iteration. Uh, the next one is going to be you can connect up to 40 people to this thing. And they will all be magically healed. So as this thing moves across the U.S., it's going to be patented. It's going to be franchised. It's going to be 40 people at a time off one uh, magic air machine. We could have used healed. this like a year ago. Right? Yeah. This would have been perfect for the pandemic. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, James said the woman in the mask is a plant creature and needs the CO2 to be pumped into the survival. <laughs> Is this the first ventilator? The first ventilator. Nice. You know, I we got a word. A chat is getting. I'm giving chat three points. Y'all, <laughs> y'all brought it. Thank you, chat. Uh, let's find out. Okay, so first of all, chat. Who do you think? Who who do you think would win? Uh, do you want my magical healing machine, uh, Michelle's um, demon exerciser, demon exerciser, 
or Lauren's attract all the hotties machine. <laughs> Let's see. Who, who, who would you all pick? We'll give you a minute to do that. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, just making me laugh. Uh, oh, Panda gives it to me. Thank you, Amanda. I would personally, I, I would vote. Uh, it's uh, it's so close. I like the hotties one. That made me laugh. <laughs> Octavia gives it to Michelle. That's, I really liked Amanda's. Amanda's was great with the Amanda's makeup. Amanda's was good. Yeah. He said the first hyperbaric machine. Nice. Like, what's that? Uh, a hyperbaric chamber. Oh yeah, um, is this huge like? I don't know. Well, there's a big machine where, um, let's just say it pumps a lot of oxygen at a very high pressure and it heals wounds. There you go. Oh, okay. It's sort of like and the, it does other things too. It's but. like the actual thing that I was trying to do, but <laughs> my, oh. my, my, <laughs> <laughs> Gator does said the picture looks like someone's husband had text. <laughs> Nice Gator Dave. Gator Dave. Wins. Gator Dave gets a point. Um, so we're gonna. Uh, how about amongst us? Who do you, who would you vote for? I like Lauren's. I, I, I think I like funny. Lauren's too. Yeah, I like yours, Lauren. So we're gonna give Lauren the point. Uh, so you did the hotties, but you also did a little uh, a little bit of your own as well. Original pitch. We're gonna give you two for that, Lauren. Okay. Okay. And let's find out what this thing really was. Uh, we're gonna. Press this. It's the isolator. Uh, this is from Hugo Gernsbach in 1925. Wearing the anti-distraction helmet for more than 15 minutes made people drowsy. Therefore, a small oxygen tank was attached to the helmet to increase the user's productivity. I need an anti-distraction helmet. <laughs> uh, so squirrel, I need this, right? I think, Octavian, you are actually going to get a bonus point, Octavian, because Octavian says this is the perfect workstation for your underwater personal assistant. Uh, you know? It's pretty much a workstation right there. Well done, Octavian. Extra point, friend. Oh, that's funny. Isn't that funny? Oh, my gosh. I'm in shock. <laughs> you could totally use this, Lauren. I know. I'm like, anyone that's responsible for me finishing this program would, like, purchase this for me in a heartbeat. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, so let's go on. We're going to do a, one of these oh cards now. We will not reveal what it actually is. We're just going to do the picture. And then what I'm going to do is this. Ooh. So I'm going to mute it so there's no spoilers. We're not going to show the card. We're just going to talk about it. But y'all, please join in and uh, let us know what you think this is. This is the next one. Um, Lauren, why don't you be the investor this time? You can judge. But you could also, at the same time, just play along and make a pitch. So here's this. To me, it looks like an organ. Do you want to take a closer look? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Panda says that's an organ. I feel like it looks like an organ, but yeah. we're going to see. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me. I gotta be okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use a card, but I'm also gonna do an original pitch for the, or a hopefully. Um. <laughs> I'm still laughing over that last one. Attract all the hotties by putting on this <laughs> mask. You're so hardworking. <laughs> you can't be distracted. Okay. Um, so if, if you have a, a pitch at home, friends, please share it in chat. We'll, we'll be happy to to um, see if it's worth investing. Here goes um, pandas. Pneumatic tubes. This is the first messaging machine. Oh, you would send messages down the tubes, and the lady would send them to the right. <laughs> oh my god. Amanda, that's awesome. <laughs> that is brilliant. That totally looks, yeah, it looks like, choo, choo, messages. Oh. Well, that's way better than what I was going to say. Okay. Well, you know how at some banks they still yeah, have that, they still like, have that. Machine? Oh, my gosh. Well done. Okay, Amanda gets, we're giving three for that. <sighs> Definitely for that. Well done, Amanda. Totally tubular. Well done, Kate and Dave. Um, uh, so Lauren's going to judge. Do uh, you want to go first or should I go first? I'll go first. Okay. There goes Michelle's pitch. Okay, so you know you're living your life, and you know you hear, like, just 
theme songs, okay. you know, as, as, you know, you do things. And sometimes, you know, they might be happy things. Sometimes they might be sad things. And, you know, you want to hear this music, you know, going along with your life, you know, to match the events. Mm -hmm. You need this particular machine right here, you know, for all those events. Uh -huh. Just, you know, to play the right tunes. Mm -hmm. This is something that you would need when she says maybe to your proposal. There you go. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <What are you? laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> it only plays sad. <laughs> No matter what you press on the keys, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Uh, are we going to allow that one to have your hot dog buds and we've gotten cold and lonely serenade them when they stay nice and gator date? That is brilliant. That is, I love that one. It's a hot dog bun warmer um, if they're cold and lonely. <laughs> See, that, that's like the, you know, the hot dog man. Oh, no. yeah. yeah. <laughs> the little cart. Yeah, the little hot dog cart. This is old, old timey. Okay. <laughs> this is what it was before. Yeah. It was like mobile. Yeah. <laughs> before the wheel was invented. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Uh, my pitch is going to be uh, this is. Let me put this up here. Um, this is the ballroom. What, what was I? I. I had a name for it, but I totally forgot. Oh, the ballroom at home kit. Uh, what this is for is, let's say, friends, you get dressed up, and you're ready to go out on a night on town, uh, either by yourself, meeting friends, or whatever, and all of a sudden, a pandemic hits, <laughs> and you can't go anywhere. You have to stay home for the next 12 months. Well, this is where the ballroom at home comes in handy. Uh, this is for the problem of being all dressed up with nowhere to go. <laughs> So what you do is sit down at the ballroom at home, and what you're going to do is just press one of those magical keys, and out comes music and or advice or just a little pick-me-up, saying things are going to be okay. So this is like the Alexa of, of back my, in the day. Back in the day, this is the Alexa, yes. <laughs> but instead of speaking to it, you just press the keys. Um, it'll uh, also play uh, music from your uh, songs from your favorite musicals, uh, such as Phantom of the Opera, um, and uh, Hamilton, and... Uh, <laughs> For sure, Hamilton. Yeah, for sure, yeah. It's also a time machine apparently, so it leaps ahead uh -huh. in time, gets the music, and goes back. So uh, this one in particular, it's a specially made edition. It can play some Drake. Um, <laughs> the, if you press the right combination of keys, it plays. Uh, um, start from the bottom. Oh, now no, we're here. here. Yeah. Okay. So there it is. Uh, that is the ballroom at home, folks. But the problem being, all dressed up with nowhere to go. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some great one. <laughs> yeah, it's a musical time machine, um, of mm -hmm. course. So, um, Lauren, which pitch? Now, I'm. I would pick. Uh, I would personally pick Amanda's. I like the pneumatic tubes. Um, I also <laughs> yeah. like Gator. It was a Gator Dave with the uh, hot dog. I like that one too. Uh, but your mom has the uh, sad. Um, what was soundtrack it? to your life. Soundtrack basically. to your life, <laughs> and then I have the um, ballroom at home uh, kit or machine. Mm. Musical time machine. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to go with the musical time machine. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! So I did use the prompt card, um, even though I sort of riffed on it. I will give myself two points. Thank you, Lauren. We've been bored. We've been stuck at home. Yeah. I could use a musical time machine. Yes, right? Very, very timely um, invention, I believe. Yes. Now, folks, what we're going to do, we don't want to spoil it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take sound off real quick. We're going to talk. We're going to show this off camera. And see how close we got. Uh, we won't reveal it because we want you all to check it out on Kickstarter. And uh, back it if you can. Uh, there is the link there. Um. Come back on. Uh, so, yeah, we were very surprised by this one, friends. That's all we're going to say. <coughs> Definitely check it out. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one that y'all are going to be able to play with us. We're going to show it here. And please play along with us, and we will reveal this one. Um, this is... <laughs> oh, I, I was looking at this one. Yeah. Michelle, oh. you will be the investor this okay. turn. But you can also uh, make your own as well. I'm going to draw a new card here. 
<laughs> this thing looks... What the heck? <laughs> I think I'm going to write my own. Can I have a piece of paper, please? Thank you. <laughs> Wait, mom's the investor for this? Yeah. One? Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm like, oh, wow, I had some good ones that would actually mm -hmm. go well with this. <laughs> Panda says, this is the all over whole body wrinkle remover. <laughs> Take one ride and you will come back ten years younger. Oh no, I love it. And Stoke Squirrel, this is obviously a jet pack. <laughs> yeah. A one time use. Like you put yeah. it in the room, that's it. I had four of these cars that would have gone well with that. Oh, okay. Um, well save okay. yeah, let's uh talk it out when we um do the uh okay. pitch here. Uh Lauren Well I don't want to give all of mine now. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Lauren, would you like to do your pitch first? Sure. Okay. Um, as you may know, Mom, uh, last weekend um, I babysat a dog for mm -hmm. a friend's family. Mm -hmm. um, the dog is six and a half months old. Um, I was warned she had a lot of uh, energy, definitely wore me out. Um, and I imagine having a newborn baby is very similar. Like... You don't get to sleep, and the it, it, it whines a lot, and is very needy, and you need to, like, feed it, and it's a lot. You have to take it to the bathroom, um, and me, as a 20-something-year-old person, that sounds like a lot. So, um, I would recommend purchasing, investing in this invention, um, because it's exactly what you need when you're a first-time parent. Ah, <laughs> ah. Your baby so. has to go to the bathroom, you strap this on, and you get to go hang out with Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> baby cries, sorry, bye. <laughs> baby needs to be fed, not today. <laughs> bye. Parent of the year right there. Oh my gosh, parent of the year. <laughs> Uh, we got pancakes. I thought it was a triple barrel uh, personal silo. Nice. I think it was the precursor of those things you strap to yourself and it shakes so you can lose weight. <laughs> shake weight. Uh, Alice finally had enough of Ralph threatening to send her to the moon, but never followed you. Nice. Gator Dave, you're bringing in straight. Uh, Stacy says, no, no babysitting for Lauren. Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> nice one, Lauren. That's, so <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Uh, my pitch. Uh, well, let's see. Enjoy 4th of July parties, but always late. Get the rocket launches. Be there five minutes in the I might need one of these when I go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll be anywhere on time. <laughs> now, my pitch, uh, these are great, by the way, folks. Thank you. Um, I was going to go, this is actually, it's an invention, but it's also, a, it's a very uh, great opportunity to franchise. Uh, this is called the Firework Lady. Yes, you and uh, your friends can become fire ladies or whatever. Um, you are selling fireworks to the neighborhood, sort of like a ice cream truck or a taco truck. You're going to be walking around the neighborhood selling fireworks, and this is an example of the fireworks that you can buy. Yes, these are actually actual size, so all you need is one for your 4th of July um, uh, extravaganza, <laughs> extravaganza, because the second you light it, it just blows up and... Fireworks and, and, we're, and the party's <laughs> over. So not only is it a, uh, for fireworks and celebrations, it's a great um, way to get guests out of your home. Um, unfortunately, there have been some, uh, some a little bit of, uh, how do we say, um, um, issues with the beta version of this. Oh. Um, we are talking to our lawyers and going to find out how responsible we are for um, a few deaths that may have happened. Sounds like a liability. <laughs> it's a liability issue, but uh, trust me when I say this, friends, as um, your investment will be returned tenfold with the firework a lady um, truck uh, neighborhood firework seller person. Uh, we still need to work on the name, obviously, but uh, there it is. Uh, okay. Fireworks. Okay. Wherever you are, you can buy fireworks, and um, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Gator Dave, that is too funny. Yes, Gator Dave was great. Ground control to major mom. <laughs> Gator Dave is bringing the, the, just bringing the A game tonight. Gator Dave, you get three points for that. Daryl B. Gaiman, I'm giving points to. Amanda Panda, y'all got points. Lauren, do you have, oh, let's see, Octavian, real talk. That's some kind of flotation device. Oh, okay, oh. yeah. Maybe it is. That I didn't even, 
We're all thinking fireworks. That yeah, kind of right? Because it looks like she's wearing a bathing suit. Oh. oh I just... No. Okay, yeah. Gator da- or Octavian, nice. So we're all thinking fire. I know. Fire rockets. <laughs> That could, you're right. I I feel like that is a you know yeah. Device, it looks right? like like she would just lay down on her stomach and those things would be the floats. Oh. Yeah, get her do the Miss Cape Canaveral swimsuit so competition. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Lauren? Would you uh, how would you pitch? Do do you have a pitch for this or do you just want to invest? Oh, mom. Oh, it was you're the investor. Yes. Right? Oh, my bad. Oh, I was like, why are you? Oh, sorry. Lauren. Okay. Um, so who would you go with? Think about all the times when I was a baby and I cried and you just needed some alone time. <laughs> That's not a good example because you were a really good baby. Oh, Think about well, the other people. <laughs> <laughs> just need a little bit of alone time. The fireworks yeah. are always a good thing. I was going to say that. They're always fun and you can clear out parties in no time with, with the uh, firework uh, person here. That one. I don't know. I know. Just because I, I am a mom I think I'm going to go with Lauren. Yes. I have nice. many friends that are that still have young children. Yeah. And sometimes you just need, you know, a little bit of time. You just need to go to space. <laughs> yes, yes. You just you need your own personal space. Very nice. Um, very good. Okay, so uh, Lauren's gotten two points. Chat, y'all got some points. Let's take a look at what it really is. It is the Shapeson Aquaplane <gasps> by S. Shapiro, 1935. Wow, nice one, Octavian. Uh, this device's tanks could support up to 180 pounds and cranks to turn a small propeller at the stern of the device, helping the swimmer go as fast as 12 knots. It was expected that life-saving guard stations would use this to enhance their rescue efforts. Wow, very yeah. nice. You get an extra point, Octavian. Well done. The shape's an aquaplane. Wow, I was close enough. Very nice, Stokes uh, Squirrel. That, uh, amazing. That That's a great call, friend. Well done. Okay. So, um, by the way, folks, this game you can play three to ten players. Um, and, wow. yeah, the way you, you normally play it, or the standard rules are, uh, you go for, um, you just play it as long as every single person has been the investor one time, then the game is over, you tally up the points. But tonight, <coughs> it's a special night tonight, we're showing off the Kickstarter. We're, we're going to play a little longer for, uh, for you. There are alternate ways to play. I would, I would just want to share this with y'all as well. So you can play making only original pitches or play just using the cards, depending on the group you're playing with. You can play as name it, compete to come up with the best name for the invention, or make this part of each round. Uh, you can also play 20 questions. Inventors ask the investor a yes or no question in turns to guess what the actual invention is. The first to shout out the answer keeps the card to score. So, yeah, there's a lot of different ways to play it. Um, very, very uh, flexible rules, uh, depending on your play group. I should also mention, there is um, a not safe for work edition as well in the Kickstarter, so you can play with your friends um, and family who you're um, more com- that you're comfortable with and sort of take it that after dark edition ah. as well. So check out the Kickstarter <laughs> there, folks. We're going to do one more of these cards here. Uh, that we're going to do. We want to hear your pitches. We're not going to reveal the answer because we want you all to check it out on Kickstarter. And then we're going to do a third and final one where we can all play together. Uh, we'll show the answer. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this gentleman here. Um, so have we all been the investor? Yes. Okay, so I'll be the investor this turn. Michelle and Lauren will come up with something. I have no idea what this is. Okay. Look at that. Okay, do you want a closer look? I can hand you the card. Yes. Okay. So y'all at home, go ahead and take a look at that. Let us know what you think it is. Love to hear your pitches. Y- y'all are bringing the A game. Uh, Darwin Gaming, Panda Angel, Octavian, um, Gator Dave. Strong, strong um, pitches. Y'all should be on Shark Tank. <laughs> I want to think of a pitch as well. <laughs> oh, did you see Stacey's? Oh, Stacey said, Rula, I can't stand not showing what the big reveal is. Let's show this. All right, awesome. This is, what, this is what's so cool about having a designer um, in, in chat, folks. We get to show these things. So we're going to show this one. We've got one more after this. And thank you, Stacey, so much for doing that. Uh, Gator Dave says, not enough time 
in this in the day to do your taxes and make a pie from scratch. Make a pie from scratch. Not anymore, my friends. I give you the pie RS. <laughs> nice. Well done. Hey, we've got a raid coming in. Thank you, Raiders. Thank you, the brothers, Nick and Mike. Appreciate it. Y'all were playing Keystone North America. I hope you liked it. It looks awesome. Thank you for the raid. Friends, my name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Tabletop Tonight. Um, I'm here with my wife, Michelle. Hello. And our daughter, Lauren. Hi. And we're playing a party game tonight. Y'all can play along with us. This is What the What. Uh, and we're playing this with chat and with ourselves here. Uh, thank you for the raid. Hope y'all liked Keystone North America. We all love the Brothers Murph. Thank you, Nick and Mike, for the raid. Want to shout out everyone in chat. We've got Daniel. Hey, Daniel, thanks for coming in here. Uh, Ross uh, Gauntlet, thank you. The One Tard, hi, T. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Grizzly Diz is here. Thank you, Grizzly Diz. Uh, GB Glazer, hi, GB Glazer. we got the Dangs coming in. we got Team Bing Bong in the house. Thank you, Nick and Mike. Brothers Murph, Brothers Murph folks, if y'all don't follow them, please follow them. They're, they're the best. We love them. And they're the co-founders of Tabletop Live Network. We've got an event next Saturday on the 20, I think it's the 28th or 29th, next Saturday. That's uh, Memorial Day weekend, Memorial right? Day weekend, yes. 24 hours straight of board game streams just like this one, just like the Brothers Murph. Thank you, uh, Nick and Mike, for the raid. We're going to get back to the game now. I think it's 29th. And what we're doing, this is What the What. We have these invention cards um, it's similar mechanism to Apples to Apples, Cards Against Humanity, where we look at the card, and then you're going to try to come up with an invention. It's like Shark Tank. You're going to pitch it. So we want to hear what your pitches are for this. Um, we've got one in chat already. Our, our friend Gator Day is really bringing his A game. He says, he uh, not enough time in the day to do oh. your taxes and make a pie from scratch? Not anymore, my friends. I give you the pie RS. That, that's brilliant. Brilliant, Gator Dave. So... Uh, this turn, I'm the investor, so I'm going to listen to the pitches from Lauren and Michelle. Um, are y'all ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Lauren, why don't you go first, please? Okay. All right. Here's the pitch. Uh, your pitches can be either original, you can just make it up, or you can use one of the ten cards in your hand. Uh, these cards, such as this one here. Um, when you got the tickets to the big event, but there's never any parking. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that would go with this, but... Uh, these are cards that you can use for your uh, pitch. But go ahead, Lauren, and let's hear what you got. Okay. Um, you're a businessman wearing a button-up shirt, a tie. You've just emerged from a long quarantine. <laughs> you're back to work. Things are feeling normal. And you decide to go on a shopping spree. You come home with a bunch of things. And unfortunately, you have some buyer's remorse. Uh-oh. To handle it. What do you do other than take one of the as seen on TV items that you purchased <laughs> and you put it to good use, just like you thought you would when you purchased it? So you start making a pie. It's delicious. <laughs> it's going to turn out exactly like it did on the box, exactly like it did on the commercial that you saw. So, yeah. Purchase the thing that's going to help you handle your buyer's remorse. Nice. There it is, folks. <laughs> the thing you need to handle your buyer's remorse from Lauren. Great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Lauren, do you have a name for your um, invention? Or... Um, no? I don't. I okay. don't. Not yet. Still, still, uh, it's still a prototype. So <laughs> it work. <laughs> yeah, he says I think Lauren should work at QVC. <laughs> you know what? You put your degree to work, Lauren. <laughs> nice. Lauren on QVC. Um, I believe uh, it's Stoic Squirrel says it's a pie identifier. Ooh. Oh. Put a slice of pie inside <laughs> it and it prints out what kind of pie it is. <laughs> That's it. Um, three points for chat. Boom. Well done, chat. Octavian says this is a Ouija board for communicating with desserts you've eaten. Oh my gosh, y'all are, oh. That's it. That, that's, that's the it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> no, game over. Okay. No. Chad has one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, who else is pitching? No, Michelle's pitching. I'm pitching. Yeah, okay. Here goes Michelle's pitch. So, this in fact is, is sort of a businessman. As you know, um, you know, gambling kind of, you know, started in Vegas and mm -hmm. it, um, you know, flourished from there. Mm -hmm. But before, you know, they were able to make the casinos and such, you know, mm -hmm. they had to practice. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an at-home roulette table. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. At-home roulette table. You no, know, they right. had to keep everything hush-hush because gambling was against the law at that time. Wow. They could not gamble in public. So, you know, before they actually 
went big in Vegas and had the big gambling rooms. <laughs> this is the the thing that they would use. This is a precursor to the roulette wheel. Wow. It's like nice. personal size. Yeah, yeah, it's a personal size roulette wheel. Wow. That's what it Very is. Very nice, Michelle. Wow. Okay, so I'm the investor. I'm going to choose a winner, but I'm going to pitch. I have a pitch as well, just for funsies. Um, this one, my pitch is um, four. Uh, this is called uh, the, uh, I had a, um, the, uh, the poop-o-matic. The poop-o-matic. What is the poopomatic? You may ask. It is for when you need what you need when it's rush hour and you have the runs. So what this is, you I don't know if you can tell. This you would actually place under your bum while you're in the car. Uh, if you're in trouble, just in case, you know you may may have had some chili from Tommy's or whatever. Uh, that is not paper. That's actually toilet paper right there. So just in case you just sit there and take care of business, you're gonna be nice and safe, nice and clean. Is the poopomatic five thousand? We'll okay, 5, good for road trips. Yeah, yes. there it is. Perfect for road trips. Is he cleaning it out after use? Uh, uh, I don't know what he's doing. Honestly, uh, as I say, we've all been there, man. Yeah, that sounds like the worst situation. When we're, yeah, absolutely, and that's why you have to buy the poopomatic. Um, but. Anyways, I that's just my silly pitch. Um, I've got a lot of lot of great pitches here, but y'all know I do have I, I do enjoy the occasional wager. Michelle, I'm giving you the win for that one. Three points for the home uh, home uh, roulette wheel. Well done. I'm gonna get that for you for um, Father's Day. <laughs> for Father's Day, thank. You. It is the perfect Father's and Day. You can use it however you want. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, so that's how the game works, folks. Now we get to look at the invention. And if you're close to or you hit it on exactly what it is, you get an additional point. Um, again, thanks to Stacey for letting us show this. This is the Spirit Typewriter. What? From Sunker Abahi Busy from 1920, known as the Indian Edison. Busy, or Bisset, created many inventions, including kitchen gadgets, a device to cure headaches, and an auto-flushing toilet. Oh. One of his last inventions was a spirit typewriter, an improved Ouija board, which promised to ch truly channel spirits and remain free of the influence of the person using the device. What the? Okay, there it is. Was it Octavian? Yes. Yeah. Octavian. Well done, friend. Wow. We're giving you an extra point, Octavian, in chat. Y'all, chat is killing it right now. Wow, wow, wow. That's, I, I can't believe that was an actual Ouija board-ish thing. Um, I wanted to call the game WTF, but wasn't very family friendly. <laughs> nice. Friends, we're going to do one more. Y'all going to um, hang out with us and do this third one, please. We are going to be able to reveal this. This is, um, there it is, right there. Um, this is the invention. Michelle, Lauren, and I will all pitch. Y'all will decide the winners. But also, please join a play with us. I want to hear your pitches as well. Um, I get a card. What is that thing? Wow. Okay. Okay, I've got my pitch. Stoic circle, circle uh, squirrel says a head tickler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is fun. I like this. Oh, who's the investor? Um, we're going to have Chat be the investor this ah, turn. Okay. But Chat, also, you're going to pick um, one of our inventions, but you're also going to come up with your own if you can. Uh, Stoic uh, Squirrel says it's a head tickler. Uh, hidden hair or a regrower. Nice. Uh, is that <laughs> Israel? Nice. Panda says, men have always wanted to know what women are thinking. Now you can. And when you're wrong, it shocks you to help you become a better man. <laughs> Oh, boy, do we need that. Amanda, you win. That's uh, from sheer practicality, you win. Octavian says, the real invention here is that glorious mustache. <laughs> I think we all win with that mustache, right? Um, Daniel says, a device to hold a toupee in place if one has run out of adhesive. <laughs> nice. Okay, um, are we ready to go? I think so. Okay, I'll start this time. Um, uh, my thing is, this is called... Uh, the steel head. Um, it's not. A, it's made of steel, and it goes on your head. But what it is, it's a safe. Uh, this is something <laughs> to. Oops, where do I put? Oh, this is a device that you need to keep your valuable safe. So in that safe, um, it is not only a combination lock, 
but it also requires your fingerprint and also a key. Um, unfortunately, uh, I, mean, I mean, you can put anything in there that can fit in that, like your valuables, your your cell phone, your money or whatever. The unfortunate thing is, though, you can never remove it from your head. It's in, <laughs> permanently implanted in your head, but at least it's safe. So there it is, folks, a device that you need to keep your valuables safe. Okay, uh, who wants to go next? Yeah, Lauren can go next. Lauren? Okay, Lauren. Okay. Um, we all watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> 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 Don't try to tell me otherwise. <laughs> but we all know whenever whenever all eyes are on you and you have to go to Ralph's to get avocados that you have to get you have to get ready beforehand. And it takes a whole team. There's someone that needs to do your makeup, there's someone that needs to do your hair, your facial hair. And <laughs> what happens when one of them gets sick? When your hair person gets sick? You know, oh. you don't know how to do your own hair, so you purchase this item. It's exactly what you need when your glam squad stands you up. <laughs> it's a hair doing hat, very similar to the the dryer that uh, you the the hairdresser gives you uh, yes. when you get your hair done. <laughs> okay. Except you take it home. And nice. It does your hair. The, it's a it's a beauty salon or um, stylist in your hat. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Well done. Your glam. I love glam. Do y'all yeah. have a glam squad? I don't have a glam no. squad. Yeah, my glam squad is uh, my razor. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Lauren. Well done. And Michelle. Okay, so back in the day, they did not have Starbucks. Uh oh. They did not. That's right. So, you know, they were really sleepy back then. So, they couldn't. You know, well, they had to stay awake, you know, for studying or, you know, for work. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd have to, you know, like, quit their job you know, or be fired. Um, they couldn't drive their, their cars or their horses. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you need to be awake and alert for these types of um, activities. That's right. So this actually gives you a shot of caffeine when you are <laughs> feeling really tired. I guess right straight to the brain. Straight to the brain. <laughs> to the brain. It's, it's, you know, it's a shortcut. So this device is what you need when you give up caffeine but still need a pick-me-up. Mm. <laughs> nice. Because you're not physically drinking the coffee. It's just, you know, a little, you nice. know, and you're good to go. There it is, folks. A s straight shot of caffeine to the dome. I love it. Nice. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you, uh, Amanda. Yes, folks, if you can vote in the poll, <laughs> there it is right there, Amanda Panda, with the um, the awesome poll that you can vote in right there. Who do you think pitched it the best? Um, let me see. I, I, I like the head tickler. That was funny. The, <laughs> the hidden hair rigor I like, too. That was good. But for me, personally, Amanda's is like, that's something we definitely need IRL in real life, as y'all kids say. Uh, men have always wanted to know what women are thinking. Now you can, and when you are wrong... It shocks you to help you become a better man. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, GP Glazer. I, yeah, I think Amanda's. We're giving we're giving chat another three points. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna. Amanda needs to write the cards here. <laughs> yes. So so far we got a couple of votes for Lauren, a couple of votes from uh, Michelle. Uh, I definitely didn't bring my A game for that, but keep voting, folks. I'm gonna add up the scores here. Uh, three, one, two, three, four, five. Right. Um, Y'all got You'll this. save your money. Why pay a glam squad five times a week when you could just have a glam squad helmet? There it is, I folks. Know, you got the additional pitch there. 50-50, uh, Lauren Michelle. Amanda helped with expansion packs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so fun. All right. So what we're going to do now, um, we'll let y'all... We're going to look at the, uh, the answer. What this thing really is. So... As we are admiring this uh, gentleman's mustache, let's take a look at what it actually is. It's the hat salute from James C. Boyle, 1896. This invention ensured proper etiquette. The device inside would automatically lift the hat when the wearer wanted to greet someone. What if he had a toupee? Did <clears throat> it like also lift the toupee? <laughs> look at that. So it went, oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> So it would, okay, it actually lifted the hat when the wearer wanted to greet. That is so funny. So basically it's saying if you're too lazy to doff your hat, then the invention would do, the hat salute would do it for you. 
Yeah. Yeah, like mom, no hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My whole thing is like just because you can make it, maybe doesn't mean doesn't you mean shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, the string in the front would lift it up. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's let's take one more look at it. Yeah. There it is. Right there. Oh, I see. There's yeah, a string okay. there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Well, we don't know who won the poll. I, I, if it's a tie, it's all good because I was keeping score here, folks. Y'all in chat killed it. I got two points. Michelle got seven. Lauren got four. Chat, y'all got 19. You got a million. <laughs> you got 19. Your inventions were outstanding. Thank you so much for uh, participating. It was a tie in the poll. Thank you, Amanda, for um, verifying that. And thank you for running the pool, uh, poll, Amanda. Much appreciated. Uh, folks, that's it. That's What's the What. Um, there is the link there. It's now on Kickstarter. been fully funded twice over. Uh, check it out there. Hundreds of cards. Um, hundreds of these uh, pitch cards here. I mean, you saw how many we had. I believe there are, is it 60 or 80 of the inventions? Um, I want to thank Stacy for allowing us to show you some of the ones that we weren't uh, going to show you. I really appreciate that. Great Audible. Um, Again, you got a uh, you got a little while longer to um, uh, check it out on Kickstarter. Speaking of Kickstarters, that's my segue. Please check out Good Looking Kickstarters, uh, the show that I co-host with Becca Scott over on the Good Time Society YouTube channel. I tried to do a link, but it didn't do the link. So, um, anyways, uh, we need backers to get from sixty to eighty. Okay, so there are sixty of these inventions, friends, and we need a few more. Uh, we need some more backers to get up to eighty. So they have eighty of these. Check it out on Kickstarter. It has been fully funded. Um, and as y'all can see, it was a lot of fun. I had a good time with this. Michelle, Lauren, your invention and pitching skills were on point tonight. Well done. I, I was very proud of Lauren. Yep. <laughs> I play so many of these games. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren was, yeah. And also chat. Uh, Octavian, Amanda Panda, Derby Gaming, uh, Gator Dave. Um, all y'all, thank you for uh, participating. So much fun. Uh, oh, thanks, Amanda, for doing the um, link there. We're going to rate. That's it for tonight, friends. Thank you so much. We'll be back next week with a lot more uh, some more board games, a lot more fun. Again, shout out to Well Why Not Media, Stacey Katz and their crew for sponsoring tonight's episode. Stick around. We are going to raid someone. I'm going to find someone to raid uh, right now. I believe uh, we're going to find, is it? Um, we'll find someone to raid. Um, let's raid Board Game Blitz. We're going to raid. Stick around for the raid. On behalf of Michelle Lauren, do you have any final words before I get out of here? Yeah, this was fun. It was good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I had a good time. Are y'all ready to go to Shark Tank? Well, <laughs> a little more practice. A little more practice. Definitely more practice. Okay. Uh, stick around for the raid. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.